mentioned a thing or two about the matchup. Oh, Pelka is, or Pelka, Chavo in the chat. Yeah. He knows. He. <laughs> you've never beat Tony? I thought you beat Tony once. Wow. So there we go. Chavo in the chat letting you know. Ooh, typo. Shout out to Typo House Games with the host. Hey, Typo House Games. Thank you for the host, buddy. Yep. They're down in, um, I believe, Georgia. Oh, wow. So it's it's a nice little host from them. That national love. Yeah. Spread it all East, around. East Coast, baby. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Underworld Games hosting Smash. Uh, the the Retro, Rumble. Retro Rumble. There you go. Here. The Smash for this tournament Good. at Retro World Expo. Glare is actually playing Donkey Kong. This was his original main. This yes, is what this put was. Glare on the map in Connecticut. Uh, if you heard Glare before, you would know he's the DK. Oh, yeah. Uh, him and Scott, the brothers. Glare being DK, oh. now DK Bayo. D Bayo main, I assume DK is now secondary. Yeah. Uh, and here he goes. He knows how good Tony is at the Bayo matchup, that he's just going to stick with the secondary. Up he's going to the stick. power. Yeah. And you know, that's the great thing about having a super heavy in um, in your pocket. Like, you have a Bowser or a DK. Yeah. Um, they have such power, and they can kill you really early. It is a much different game than the combo game where you have to like last a very long time. You don't very la you don't last too long against these characters. Yeah, which is surprising that Ness is actually over a hundred. <laughs> Good tack. <laughs> oh, and, and the reversal. Wow. The anti grime. You want to be grimy with Look me, son? Tony had to do it to him right now. Yo, what's Ooh. up with the tech off the side of the throw? That's beautiful. He right knows there. what he's doing. Tony, Tony's has always been pretty good at landing his tacks. He knows the timings. Uh, it, and I gotta say, like uh, personally, from I do play a little bit of Ness, and so I, when it comes to grapplers like that, what, bro, what, bro, hold on, what happened there? I don't even know what just happened. I don't know. Nair somehow he uh, just nared him out of there. Yeah, he must. There, I don't know. Tony. I feel me. Tony with a little smirk on his face. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was that was nice. I, if we had player cam, you guys would have seen some pretty. Yeah. Shocked looks on their face. The immediate switch to Bayo. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. So now Ness does pretty good against uh, heavies like that. The grapplers, especially mm -hmm. DK and Bowser. Combo food. Yeah. Yeah. And, that, and they give him the space and the patience he needs to do the setups that he wants. Yep. And especially when um, with Glare focusing on the down throw off the side of the stage, it's just not working out too well for him. It's, it's too easy of a setup. Exactly. All right, so we're going to get right into this Bayo business. Um, so far, Ness is doing a good job of keep holding on to the lead, yeah. but Bayonetta is actually using her spacing, using the fact that Ness has to get a little bit close to you to hit you. And he's trying to claw back the lead. Throwing out of which time... Oh, there Ooh, we go. Yeah, there he hits it. Now, he definitely opted for this Bayo pick so that he could... Oh, my God. <laughs> so I thought that was going to kill. So he could counter pick to um, Lilat. Oh. I was actually just talking with Actual Garbage for the last set Glare played on stream that Glare... With Bayo, mm -hmm. loves Lilac Cruise. Yeah. He, um, this is a stage specific counter pick, I believe. Ooh, what are we going to get out of that? A back throw. Back throw. Nice. Good waiting from Tony. These guys you know, are playing so well right now. Yeah. It's like you see so many intelligent moves. Read. Yeah. A lesser Ness player would have tried to go for an up air, would have tried to do some sort of option, but Tony's just going to wait for him to land and shield and then grab him. And even before, we saw moments of brilliance where Glare actually chased Tony off stage, going, opting to go down, and he, he hit him back to the stage, but instead of letting Tony come back for free with the up B, he just said, all right, I'm going to get some damage here. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to do anything crazy. I'm just going to, you know, just bring you back under my terms. Oh, yeah. And these guys, they, they know what they're doing. The only... Oh, there we go. He actually didn't heal slide that time. Glare uh, definitely goes for a lot of heal slides when he goes for the side B. So, ooh, ooh, that, that was good. That was good. PK Thunder tripping him up too, and he's gonna hit him with the nair. Tony doing a good job keeping Bayo off stage, but he can't really afford to take a lot more trades no, he because can't. now he's at uh, kill percent. It's getting very dangerous to the both of them. Yeah, they're both at kill percent now. Actually, one back throw will definitely take it from Tony. Whereas uh, any of Bayo's smash attacks will kill. A uh, forward though will not kill yet. But an up air anywhere is up on the top of the stage will definitely kill. So Tony's got to be careful. But an up air from Tony will also kill. The noggin. The noggin. Hit him with the noggin. Give him knowledge. Gonna, gonna go up 2 0. Ness has got that, that sort of unsettled smile. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. I hurt a little bit, but he I knows. won. <laughs> yeah, he hurts his head just a <laughs> tiny bit. But so shouts to the audience. It. Uh, Bean Lampstand wants to know where the Falco is. Yeah, oh, Glare's Falco? Where the Falco at? Yeah. 
I mean, I don't know what happened to this Falco, honestly. You I know what? <laughs> Would Falco be a bad option against Ness? Uh, this is a little bit slower Falco, than Fox. Uh, no, so, uh, see, I think that uh, Ness Fox, being a Fox player, Ness Fox is like a pretty even matchup. Mm -hmm. Falco is just a way worse version of Fox with all worse options. So I would think Ness definitely beats Falco. The only mm -hmm. real um, benefit Falco would have would be his down B, the reflector, because he kicks it out. Yeah. He can't stall with it, but he can kick the reflector out, and the projectiles aren't as useful for uh, Ness. But... Mm -hmm. What well, we are going to see now, uh, running it back to Lilat, that was a close game. That was a lot closer than the DK game. So I'm glad yes. Blair kind of stuck with He said, you know, I lost that game. I'm not going to let it get to me. That was a very scary double jump coming off from Tony. And now Glare racking on that percent, getting the really bail ladder combos. Yeah, it's finding, slipping, sliding, going underneath people. Yeah. Pretty good. Ooh. Oh, oh, no. Oh, that Hit is going to take it. Wow, yeah. There we go, baby. And he's feeling himself. He's taunting, that. too. I don't know, Tony. Is it going to be taunting your body? We'll see. Tony, not always the player that you want to be taunting against. Um, exactly. Yes, uh, Bean Lampstand, indeed, they are different characters. That is very true. Ever since Melee, um, Falco's moveset switched a lot to the oh, point yeah. where they're almost. They're, they're, I wouldn't even consider them clone characters. So. It's just, You're absolutely it's correct. Just, um, <laughs> Falco has a lot of bad matchups these days. Yeah. And, his, and his tool set's a little bit too tool set's bit, yeah. His tool set's way different than Fox's. Ooh. Oh, oh, I don't know if he wanted to go for that dash attack right no, there. No, I don't think so. He's too close. Ooh, he's going to witch time that bear. Going to get a bear himself. He's off the no. top uh, ladder combos. He only got him off the top once, but Glare's definitely been doing really well with those. Ooh, Ooh nice! It's tried uh, to go for the rocket. The safety getaway option. Like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna predicament. Ooh, Ooh, that was a super throw. good back throw. Yes, really good back throw on the snuck in on the ledge. Perfect pivot, grab, back throw. Your Dunyan rings. Okay, leg drop. Looking yeah, like Hulk Hogan here. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do to you, brother? I'm going to take you right out. <laughs> Hulkamania. Yeah, it's looking like Hulkamania right now oh. with Claire almost having a 100% lead on Tony. Tony's going to have a lot to work, a lot of work to make up, but his nest can never be counted out. No, um, and this might be uh, Glare getting himself on the board here right now in this very moment. Yeah, is he going to give it no. to us? Yes, Ooh, he is. Oh, wow. Tony expecting, a, expecting an up air. Doing a lot of air dodges and then ends up getting punished with a back air. So we're gonna see a game four. Now, what I'm interested in, I don't know if Glare's gonna go back to DK for a different stage than Lilat, but it looks like he's gonna stick with Bayo and as we go to FD, okay. which is a pretty good nest stage. This is so. a pretty good nest stage. Yeah. It uh, limits the options because Glare was getting a lot of mileage off of those platforms. It's really mm -hmm. working out for him. Yeah. Normally, I would say take Bayo to platforms so you can get away from her um, a lot of her moves. But in that case, he couldn't get away fast enough. Um, so we got the game underway, looking very good here, looking amazing, looking selfie-rific. Oh, yeah. And Bayo, if Bayo had a selfie pose, that'd be great, you know? Ooh, the up air almost taking it. Yep. Wow. And this, oh, oh, he was facing the wrong way. Yes. Oh, he was expecting a roll-on. He might have been expecting a roll-on, or he was facing either way. You know, the read was not there. No. It was just... Eh, oh, wow. Right. Air dodging right through it. That was good from Tony. Tony's going to... Tony, but Tony now... <laughs> Missed me with that, that, buddy. Like, yeah, compared to that last game that we just saw, Tony's doing a really good job at getting out of those types of combos. Again, getting out of it, but the up no, air there that, is going to take that it. That time was actually a mess. He wasn't getting away from yeah. that combo at all. No. He couldn't move. He was... Every which way he was going, he was just getting bopped out of, bopped out of life, and then he just finished yep. it off with a crumb to the clean up air. Ooh, see, and now Glare, instead of landing and shielding like he did the last time Tony hit him with that, he just kind of upbeat into the air, wanted to stay safe. Uh, Glare, Glare's questionable side Bs, but yeah, you know, he is definitely looking good this game. He cleaned it up after the first two games, Ooh, but we're going to get a back throw. Nice. That wasn't even yeah. a high percentage back throw. It's like just it over, just over 100. Yeah, it was good enough to On kill. The edge, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. no rage at the edge. That'll kill. Yeah. But... Still, that might have been some sus DI coming out from Glare. That's true. That was a sus uh, ledge grab. The, le the, the ledge stall like that, that yeah. weird kind of, the ledge cling, that's what's called, wall cling. The wall, wall cling, cling on the ledge like that looks so weird. I know Sheik does it too. I mean, it was, yeah, it was a bit high up. All right, so now that we're back to even, and 
Oof. Tony is looking to hold on to the lead right now. He's built a quite a good lead, and he's yeah. holding on to it. He's pushing him around the stage, not giving him the momentum to build up any type of um, nonsense with the combos, giving himself some space here. He's a, he's, he's creating dangerous space. Yeah, he he's throwing gave moves up, uh, out. He kind of gave up uh, center stage control mm -hmm. with that PK rocket. but He did. Other than that, though, Tony, yeah, every movie starting out is to establish his dominance on stage. So Yes, it's much better than empty hopping. I mean, he was doing a lot of moves that were getting him caught before because he wasn't throwing his moves out. He was waiting for a moment to hit, but now he's just throwing him out to keep the spacing. And the spacing is actually working out for him because through it all, the scrapping, he's going to take a little bit of percentage here and there, and it's just working out. Yeah. Now, it's kind of inevitable against Bayo. You're, you're going to get those trades. You're going to get the little bit of percent. This. The bats were ooh, actually a very, very smart good. option, and it's yeah. getting a lot of off of it right now. That double jump from Tony it doesn't matter. It doesn't get punished off it. So, Tony, Tony in a pretty good spot. Mm -hmm. Ooh, he was looking for that uh, the patented Tony Pajamas down smash edge guard. Ooh, this. Uh, I don't think he has any side Bs left yet, so he can't really take him up top. But this game, yeah. incredibly close. Tony just needs one back air, though. Or up air. Or, or up air, back air. Or a back air, throw. Back He's throw. got level two rage. They're both at, uh, very... Ooh. Oh, my God. Ooh, that looks Tony, so dangerous. Yeah. Tony's skating around. He's like, I, I want no part of that, air. please. No. Just whirling nice legs back, back to air. Ledge. He doesn't have his jump now, so he's going to be forced to up B. Oh, is he went a little it? too low. Easy, yeah. Oh, he couldn't. He, he couldn't get the tech onto the stage. If he was boy. able to get that tech, he might have been able to mm -hmm. slide up around the side. But Tony dipped down a little too low, and we're gonna get another game five in this top eight. He dipped down a little too low. Yes, he did. Oh man. Too low. Too low. Too low. <laughs> and he knows it. Tony that knows. Was, Tony knows what adjustments to make, though. Yeah. That was a. Uh, that was a good match, actually, for yeah. both of them. They made the proper adjustments. It just that Glare had a little bit too much momentum. Yeah. He was able to get Towards in there. The end there. Yes. Uh, keeping him in the air and just doing what he needs to do. You guys got to do what you need to do. Get your, uh, get your stocks out. There. Exactly. And so far, right now, we're back to a sort of fatigue. These guys are building up the stage for how this fight's going to go. And Glare is doing a really good job of saying, you know what? We're, I'm just going to go in there. Not, we're not going to let Ness do his thing. Oh, no. no wow. No. Ness, is, Ness is away. He is free and clear to not let that happen again, I hope. I also hope. Or else it's going to happen again. Because Glare, Glare will not miss an opportunity. Glare just going crazy with these uh, witch twists right now. But side B coming out. Tony not going to be able to get anything off of it, sadly. Oh Ooh, my God! Up the rawest of up smashes. He didn't go anywhere for a good no. second. Just, I'm waiting right here to give you this first. Glare with now the biggest lead he's had this whole set. This this game looking very good for Glare, but it's unpredictable with these characters and with these players. Like already, Tony, if he takes his stock now, it's it's a clean even game. He's not going to have that much percent to make back up, but he's got to try to solidify the stock. Back throw, not going to take it yet. going to put him in a bad position, though. Exactly. It's what yep. he wanted. That's what Tony wants right now is just to be able to rack on the percent so that the back throw kills, so that the back air kills, up air, whatever oh. he can get. Yes. These this crispy air combos. Ooh. Ooh. See, yeah. The, uh, which time I'm not surprised he went for that. <laughs> Putting some fear in him. Yep. Ooh, oh, yep. nice down smash. Ooh. Down and smash almost taking it, too. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that nice was sick. That setup was nice. That was really 69 sick. on Ness. Look at nasty, yeah. boy. But, but uh, you know, I was say if he claps back instantly, takes this stock. That's yeah. gonna be very tragic. Forwarder to up B or up air coming out from uh, Tony. Good looks, 43 percent. He's racking on that percent now. This is what I was saying. Like Glare had that lead, but Tony just cut it in half and and counting. Yeah, he's catching up real quick. Oh, yeah. These are aggressive these PK, PK thunders. thunders. Yeah, yeah. Looking like gacked. <laughs> oh. And now Tony. Back air. Back air almost taking it. The red lightning was coming out. This guy is on a comeback spree right yeah, now. Yeah, now he Can has the lead. Glare, hold on to his comeback. This is getting too tense for me right now. Yeah, I no. hope you guys are feeling it. This is a booty hole clincher. Hell this yeah. guy, these guys are over 100%, 108 each. <laughs> Game oh, five, no. and he takes it. Glare going to take it over Tony. Oh, my goodness. Very good back air from Glare. Oh, that could have gone either way every single time. Every single time. Yeah. I was.